from Eric Keeley, Telstra's director of IPTV and PayTV. I'd now like to welcome Joe Pollard to the stage to commence proceedings. Thank you. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for coming um, out tonight to see the launch of Telstra TV. It's been 12 months um, of hard work, probably 18 months of planning, but really the last 12 months has been an enormous team effort. And I really would love to acknowledge the, the Telstra team that have worked hard um, on this project, all of our content partners, um, all of our agency partners, because this really is something that without all of you, we wouldn't be possible. And I really would love to welcome Andrew. Andrew, if you'd like to stand up and welcome everyone, our great partners from Nike. <laughs> I think when we went to visit them in March and sort of said, how fast can we get this device um, to market? They sort of said, oh, well, it's about 18 months. And we said, well, can we do it in seven, maybe eight? Mm -hmm. And it really was the teamwork with Roku that had us um, going fast to market. Just before um, I delve into the details of um, Telstra TV, I thought it'd be helpful to just take you through a few consumer trends and technology trends that are really making the launch of this product um, really key for us at, at Telstra. We work with um, Jeffrey Cole, um, who is a global researcher, and he's been looking at trends around the world from the last 30 years of how people are consuming uh, media. And one of the phenomenal um, things that, when you dig into his research, in 1975, 16 hours were, uh, were spent in front of screens. Now this is a screen, uh, at this stage it probably wouldn't have been a computer screen, but a television screen. You fast forward to 2015 and that's accelerated to 47 hours. In, in another five years, we will spend 60 uh, waking hours in front of some sort of screen. So you can imagine the, the um, amount of capacity you have to have in a broadband and a mobile network in order to manage this kind um, of traffic. Another data point um, I'd like to um, bring up in the US, when uh, Breaking Bad was in its final season on AMC, a, a cable network, over three million Americans watched the entire five seasons within a month in order to catch up on the last episodes. <laughs> I know. I, I can't say I was one of them, but I have binge watched five seasons of another show, so I am one of those. So really what this means is bandwidth is our new oxygen. I have a 12-year-old and a 14-year-old, and I think they ask me um, when we go somewhere before what, what can they eat. It's mum, does it have Wi-Fi? <laughs> so really bandwidth is the new oxygen. Cisco predict that um, from 2014 to 2019, within a peak time in the evening, that it'll go up, the capacity will need to go up by three and a half times. Within our own network at Telstra, our broadband network, over 50% of the traffic is now um, video. And globally, me mobile data usage will triple um, in the next five years. So we really are living in the age of video. What that means is an enormous amount of choice. The consumer, and even in Australia since March, the launch of Netflix, Presto and Stan, I think surprised us all just with the um, pent up demand that consumers had for those products. But what that means is, is that consumers are gonna be overwhelmed with choice. And one of the things that we've been very um, cautious about doing is picking a partner that had a really great user interface to bring all of those choices together in a really simple, easy way. The other thing too that I think in a modern media world, you're only going to survive if you've got predictive data. Uh, content um, that's able to be personalised and intuitive for, uh, for an individual person to be able to have a personalised experience. So moving on to Telstra. We consider ourselves more than a telco and more than a media company. And we want to lead the industry by giving consumers great choices in content, providing the broadest array of content um, on the best networks, whether or not that's the NBN, 
our fixed network or mobility. <laughs> and we're really proud of how um, we have built up our partnerships over the years. Our, set, our strategy is pretty simple. We want to be able to use media to win in the home and we want to be able to use media to differentiate out of the home. And you can see here with our strategy of having the half ownership of Foxtel, which is really the jewel in the crown of premium content and content experiences with live sport, uh, direct from the US premium content, the great IQ3. It really sits on top of the, the stack of premium. We have um, T-Box in the home. We will continue to, we have stopped selling T-Box, but we will continue to support it um, with content but, but because the people that use their T-Box love it. And then finally, um, Telstra, Telstra TV. When you look across the content genres, obviously we have pay TV, the new uh, genre of streaming video on demand, uh, transactional video on demand with our successful um, TVOD, uh, and then sport, and I noticed a, a few of our sports partners in the audience were super excited about um, the renewal of the AFL deal recently and hopefully um, soon to be the NRL deal, but, and obviously our netball partners. So um, sport is a critical element to our strategy, and then finally music. Um, having just completed the five-year deal uh, exclusively with Apple Music, it really rounds out um, our media products. So when you look at the ecosystem, a lot of people, as I've been doing interviews um, over the, the past uh, 24 hours, have been, well, what are you doing with Telstra TV and what's different about Telstra TV to, say, Foxtel and the T-Box? And I answer it in very, very simply. The Telstra TV is um, a very simple, uh, intuitive device that enables consumers to get this plethora of choice in catch-up TV services, the SVOD services, and a bunch of other video apps, simply and easily, all in one place um, on their television. And it's really an entry level pay TV product for, for people that want to get into pay TV. The other audience that will, um, I think, love Telstra TV is what we call the content junkies. And that's people like me. So they'll, they'll already have probably an Apple TV, they'll have their IQ3 and they'll want an additional device to help them get all of the SVOD services and um, by Christmas, all, hopefully all of the catch-up TV services easily in one place. And as I said, we will continue to support the T-Box even though we won't be selling um, the hardware. So finally, um, as you can imagine, when we were searching around um, the world for a partner, we made um, a very strategic decision not to get into um, the device business and build this product ourselves. We searched uh, the world for who is doing it best and um, Roku came up by far on the top of that list. Basically because of three simple criteria, three criteria, it's incredibly simple. Um, it takes a lot of the choice and puts it all in one place. It's flexible. So within a very short period of time, we can add apps and we're working at launch. Um, we'll have 15 of the global apps within Telstra TV, which Eric will take you through. And it's very, very easy to get connected. I took my device home um, a couple of weeks ago and said to my 13 year old, just gave him the box and said, right, I'm not telling you anything. And within um, five minutes, and one question to uh, my husband, what's our Telstra ID? He was up and running and going, mum, this is the coolest thing ever. And that really goes to the years of uh, Roku um, putting into the user interface and making it simple. So with that, I'll just give you a short um, overview of Telstra TV and then I'll hand to Andrew. Australians love TV binge watching our favourite sitcoms and blockbuster movies. Last month, the average Aussie watched over 90 hours of video content, with most of that on the TV. That's enough time to view every season of Breaking Bad twice. Although we still prefer to watch our favourite shows on TV, we've started to stream more and more content, a trend that's only going to increase over the coming years. That's why Telstra has partnered with Roku, the market leader in streaming entertainment in the US. And Australians are ready for it. They're ready for a simple, flexible, connected TV. 
they're ready for Telstra TV. Simply plug and play to access the content you want on demand. And it gives you the flexibility to pay only for what you want. Telstra TV, it's dead easy. Just another way Telstra is creating brilliant connected experiences for everyone. Telstra TV. So in order for uh, you to experience um, Telstra TV and hopefully you'll love it as much as we do, uh, after this evening everyone here we're sending you home with uh, Telstra TV tonight. So. Hopefully you'll be able to take it home and um, enjoy it. And, um, um, and with that, I'll hand you to Andrew Ferro, the VP of Pay TV from Roku, to take you through um, the plans that Roku have now and in the future. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for coming. Um, phenomenally excited to be here. Uh, it's an exciting day for the launch of Telstra TV, and it's really a, a stunning partnership we've been able to put together, um, bringing the Roku platform together with Telstra's phenomenal network and their, and their local content partnerships to bring what I'm sure will be an incredibly successful service to market. Some of you may know Roku, but some of you may not. Um, in 2008, we were the first company <coughs> to launch a media player that streamed Netflix to the television. Since then, we've been squarely focused on making the best operating system for the TV. We do that by focusing on incredible ease of use, making a simple interface that users can easily navigate around, as evidenced by, by Joe's, uh, Joe's son putting a, activating the device. We do that through focus on giving access to a broad range of content. And so that means catch-up apps from the broadcast services, top subscription video on demand services, as well as big blockbuster movies from transactional VOD services like Telstra's Big Pond Movies. And we do that by providing all that at incredible value. You can choose when to watch, what to watch on your terms. The Roku OS today is distributed in a number of markets in different ways. We've got our media players. So we've got our Roku streaming stick, which offers a nice, small, mobile form factor for consumers. We've got our Roku 2 and our recently announced Roku 4, which adds 4K capabilities to the device. And although not yet launched, has already been received with great fanfare. We've got our Roku TVs where we embed our operating system into TVs so that you get the Roku experience, all the great apps and services and content you get on the Roku media players, you get right built into your TV. We've partnered with major brands like Sharp, TCL, Hisense, Hire, to bring this experience directly to consumers. And then really Telstra TV is the best example of our Roku powered partnerships where we've licensed our platform to operators like, Tel operators like Telstra Worldwide to distribute their own branded streaming players and deliver value-added services to their, their, their customers. What does all this mean? It means streaming has been booming. If you look at the growth trajectory and just consumption on the Roku platform over the last few years, in 2013, Roku streamed 1.7 billion hours content through the Roku platform. That climbed to 3 billion hours in 2014. And already in the first half of 2015 alone, we've seen 2.5 billion hours streamed through the Roku platform. And again, the focus for us are those three core principles of simplicity, of making it dead easy to not only set up and activate, but find and access that great content you want. Providing a broad, broad range of, of content choices. And so what, what you'll see on Telstra TV and what, what Telstra together with Roku has really been able to bring together, from their big pond movies to the major SFA services here, Netflix, Presto, and, and coming soon to the platform, Stan, to the catch-up services like SBS On Demand and, and, and Nine Jump In. And then some of the more global apps that Roku's been able to bring. 
like GoPro and Red Bull TV and Wall Street Video. And then finally, that, that incredible value that we've been able to bring. And I'll let Eric Curley shortly talk a little bit about the offers that Telstra will be making here, but really bringing all of those content services together in one place. A very simple, easy to use platform combined with Telstra's network really brings a very compelling offer to market. We think this partnership is um, a really strong partnership. We know that this platform will be the go-to streaming solution for Australia. We're really excited to see it launch. So thank you all for joining us. Hello, uh, my name is Eric Keeley. I'm the director of Pay TV and IPTV here at Telstra. And it's my task to actually um, show you how simple this device is to work, uh, to make work, and also to show you some of the services that the other guys have been describing on the, on the platform. I'll, I'll show you a few examples. Um, however, nothing beats trying it yourselves. So as Joe mentioned before, for our external guests, uh, you will all walk home with a, um, or however you get home with a <laughs> Telstra TV tonight. And uh, there'll also be lots of stations set up outside. I, we hope we do this so grab your Telstra TV and run off while we finish. Um, there'll be lots of stations outside as well and more food and drinks and a DJ uh, where you can try it out yourself. So for those of you who are really struggling with my accent, you can walk to one of these devices that are set up outside and someone who speaks Australian will, will then give you a demonstration that you can actually understand. In the meantime, just if, you, if you're having problems, just watch the pictures. Um, so. <laughs> This is the home page of the Telstra TV. And what you're seeing here is what's popularly called the appification of uh, television. It's a bit like, you might remember if you're as old as I am, you might remember when your feature phones changed to smartphones. Yes, there was video on them when they were feature phones, um, but now it's all driven through apps. And that's what this system shows. It's, it's all apps driven. It's very, very simple, very easy to use. Starting with the remote, not sure how much you can see it, but as I said, you can try it yourself soon. It's, I've never seen a remote with such few buttons. Personally, I only use two of them, the home button and the directional button. They're the only ones you need. I actually don't know what the other ones do, to be honest. Um, even though there's only four or five on them. When in doubt, just press home. Um, you don't have to download an app. There's possibilities to do so, but you don't have to. We, I had another demo. Everyone came up to me in that demo uh, at, a, at a different event with their phones and said, how, how do I download the app to, you to, to do it? You don't have to download the app as a remote. Um, as I said, it's an app-based system. There are four broad categories of apps available. There's the uh, subscription video on demand services. Um, and we're very happy that we have Presto. Stan will be joining, uh, we hope, uh, in uh, early November. Um, there's nothing uh, conspicuous about it. It's all <laughs> technology issues. We're very happy to welcome Stan shortly after the launch. Um, and uh, Netflix as well. We have, we're very happy to have the free-to-air catch-up services, uh, which are, of course, um, the same as are, are available on other devices. I'll just jump into one just to, to show you what it looks like. It's very simple, um, very phone-like experience, except it's like uh, on your main screen. Go in, you have a selection of, show, uh, of shows. Our content partners obviously choose how they design the experience within the apps. Um, we, we believe they've all done a fantastic job. Going then back to the home button, very simple, just press one button. Um, as I said, we have the subscription video on demand services. And then the third category is the transactional uh, video on demand, which is provided through our own Big Pond movie service, which I'm sure you're all really familiar with and very heavy users of. If you're not, you should be. Um, and uh, since you're such heavy users, I'm sure you're really familiar with how the interface looks and how it operates. So you can compare it to this uh, interface that's about to come up, how this looks and, and operates. And you can see that it's, it's actually far superior on this platform. 
And the interesting thing is that um, given that we're both on the platform as well as, as operates it, the Transfer TV, we've had the experience of being one of these content partners ourselves joining the platform and building an app for it and all of these things that you need to do. And it, it's fair to say that Roku's key value of simplicity permeates through to being a partner as well. It's easy to join a partner. Barriers to entry to this platform are very, very low. It's inexpensive. And yet, even so, the experience that we built, uh, that we managed to build, I believe is far superior to, to um, other environments where we have big phone movies. Going back again to the apps, um, as Joe mentioned, we'll be launching with around 15 apps. Roku in the United States have over 2,500 apps available. We'll get there one day. <laughs> but we'll get there in, in, in an orderly way, which makes sense. We just don't want to throw hundreds of the more niche appeal apps on immediately. Um, we, we'll work ourselves to a high number of apps. Some of the apps that we have the pleasure of launching with, thanks to our cooperation with, with um, our partnership with Roku, um, and I'll just show these to, to, to show you the width, uh, is some, as diverse as Wall Street Journal video, which as the name suggests is, is financial news, financial uh, current affairs, um, and um, um, Red Bull TV, I'll just go into Red Bull TV. I'm very aware that so far I've only been pointing you to apps and shown their environment, and I haven't actually proven that you can actually screen through this thing. So I'm, I'll, I'll show you that you can now. Um, so from all the way from the core SVOD services, transactional, the, the market leading transactional video on the mom service, big Bug movies, free area catch up, and something as specialized as Wall Street Journal TV to something that that's sits on the other end of the content spectrum, um, something as, um, as um, kind of, I guess, more eye candy, um, like, oops, I just, I wanted that one. <laughs> <laughs> something as more eye candy as uh, Red Bull TV. So, here's the moment of truth. Does it stream? If it doesn't, I think I'm going to have to look for a new job fairly quick. <laughs> there we go. So, as you can see, um, there's a huge variation of, of content available, even with just the first 15 apps we're launching with. It's a very dynamic environment. Uh, we will launch uh, ad, uh, apps as we see fit, but also as, as, as they have appeal. So, I guess with that, I'll just uh, end the presentation, and I wanted to tell you about um, how this will be made available as well. So, you're lucky. Um, our external guest, you're here. You walk away with one now. Everyone else has to wait a bit. Uh, you can pre-register from today, if, if you're a, a normal mortal, uh, your interest. <laughs> um, and, but you'll have to wait until the 27th of October. Uh, when it will be available from the 27th of October, it'll be sold through all our channels, so online, in our shops. You won't be able to pass the Telstar shop without noticing this. Um, it is exclusive to Telstar customers, new and present. Telstar customers can buy the device for, if they're present, uh, for either $109 uh, in retail, or it will be included as a gift with purchase in, in new large and extra large bundles and recontracts into those bundles as well. Um, that's our fixed broadband bundles. Um, we are also gonna add over the Christmas period from the 27th of October to the 25th of December, uh, a little extra Christmas present. So all people who sign up for it then get three months free Stan, Presto, and Netflix as well, not war. Sorry? Oh no, sorry, Stan and Presto, sorry. That just slipped off the tongue. Um, <laughs> I apologize. Um, not, not, and, not, 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 uh, not, or, and, and also $15 uh, of big pond movies value to watch, watch films with. Um, so, uh, pre pretty generous offer for around Christmas as an extra uh, Christmas present. And there'll be new offers, uh, there will be ongoing offers to uh, watch out for there as well. So, uh, Please tell all your family and friends that unless they're lucky enough to be given one tonight, 
they're available for, to buy from the 27th of October. So with that, I'll, I'll hand over to Steve again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eric. Um, great demonstration. You kept your job as well. It all worked perfectly, which is good. Um, and thank you for your humour. Um, three words really resonated there with me and I'm sure probably for everyone sitting in the audience. Um, simplicity is key to this product. Uh, flexibility is also key to the product. And as we've heard from all our speakers tonight, content really is king um, when using products such as this. So thanks again, Eric, for the demonstration. Thank you, Joe, for the insights. And thank you, Andrew, for the words about the partnership and some, some great little view into the Roku business and the partnership between Roku and Telstra. We're extremely excited about the launch of Telstra TV. We welcome you to please go out into the foyer, try the product, get your hands on with it, play around with the very simple interface, um, and also enjoy a drink and some lovely food. Um, as mentioned, uh, I think we've said it about five times, we'll reaffirm it again. Um, you will all be receiving uh, a, a complimentary Telstra TV tonight. So please make sure you don't leave without seeing the team um, getting one in your gift bag. Um, for the media that are in attendance, if you have any questions or would like to have a chat with, with Joe or with Andrew, if you can see myself and my colleague Doug McDougall sitting down the front, who might stick his hand up. There you go, there's Doug. Um, that's probably enough from all of us. Thank you very much for your attendance. Please enjoy the evening and thank you again. Cheers.